Hey guys, it's Eric Thor here. In today's video, we're talking about why people find INFJs so confusing. These are the million faces of the INFJ. So INFJs lead with introverted intuition. It's their dominant function, their introverted intuitive feeling and judging personality types. Beyond that, the INFJ has introverted feeling as their sixth function. And this is gonna be important, so that's why I'm telling you this. Now, the INFJ is a person that, in because of this combination because of this subtle combination of functions has a kind of an unstable sense of identity. INFJs are people that are constantly engaged in this act of self-transformation. The INFJ mind and the personality of the INFJ is constantly reframing and changing and transforming. The INFJ's capacity to change their values and convictions and identity and how they see themselves is what makes the INFJ a very difficult type to read. INFJs are people that are constantly engaged in a process of philosophizing and existential thought. Because the INFJ asks so many questions about who they are, why they're here, and what their purpose is, the INFJ is constantly learning new things about themselves and changing their mind and their views and their values to fit with this constantly changing value system and worldview. So the INFJ is like water in the sense that Internally, they're constantly engaged in this process of transformation and change that we can liken to the transformation of water or movement of water and flow. Now, the outer face of the INFJ is extorted sensing. And so what we see from the INFJ is a subtle action of extorted feeling and extorted sensing. INFJs are people that, in many ways, craft a careful display of how they need to look in order to uh, assert their values and their dominant vision. INFJs have a vision, a goal, and an existential worldview or framework for what they want to achieve, what kind of people they want to be. And whatever they do in the outer world is meant to represent and carry that conviction outwards. The INFJ will craft an identity and a persona and a character that will help them achieve their vision or their goals. Now, this can vary from situation to situation, which is why the INFJ can have and many different faces and many different displays in different situations. People might know the INFJ very differently if they know them on an intimate basis or whether they know their personal face or outer face. INFJs are introverted judging types and because they are goal-oriented types and because they are very focused on achieving and reaching future goals, the INFJ can be more outgoing than what you might expect from an introvert. INFJs are people that will put themselves out into the world and will assert themselves to the world in order to achieve their inner values and convictions. So the INFJ is a person that in many ways can be outgoing when it suits their interests and their values. Now, because the INFJ is constantly engaged in this process of self-transformation and personal growth, the INFJ also needs a lot of introspection and personal alone time. It's during this time that they reframe, and so the INFJ is known to fade out of existence. They fade in and out of existence, constantly fluctuating from going inside, introspecting and thinking about who they are, and then going outside and then taking on a personal display or a persona or a mask that will fit with this uh, very much a uh, fluctuating sense of identity and belief and conviction. Now you might think that the INFJ is then somebody that is constantly changing from different extremes, but often the transformation of the INFJ is quite subtle. The INFJ is constantly finding small things to do a little bit differently. And so they're very much focused on these smaller sub-atomic uh, changes, you know, this uh, these lowest level 1% fixes that they can do that will make them more successful or will make them reach a larger audience. And so their ability to change themselves in order to meet external goals is very important. And we need to talk about that because when an INFJ is unhealthy, the INFJ will align their personal identity and will change themselves and will change their convictions to meet whatever the audience and a com community and environment wants from them. The unhealthy INFJ is very fixated with how other people see them and their persona and their identity. The healthy INFJ is more focused on making the world see them the way they are. And so the more important thing is that their persona or mask serves their intuitive goals. So as an INFJ, it's very important that you let your introverted intuition lead. 
Don't let stress from extorted sensing and fear about how you're perceived change how you see yourself internally. Instead, focus on how you see things internally and try to express that to the outer world. That's a lesson for all INFJs and one that I think is very important to learn. When you can be confident and dominant and assertive about yourself, you're going to be a lot more happy and a lot more successful. If you change yourself to meet your partner's needs, if you change yourself to fit what other people want from you, you're going to be unhappy and you're going to find yourself in roles that you don't like. Now this happens quite a lot to the INFJ and the INFJ often finds themselves filling roles and uh, personas that are uncomfortable for them and because of this the INFJ is often overwhelmed. To take on a persona or a mask that is uncomfortable for you as an INFJ, to try to be a person that is, you don't like to be or that is draining to you to be, is going to cost you. So think about the price of your actions and what you do. Recognize that everything you do has a cost. And so if you try to, the more uh, of a deep level of self-transformation that you engage in, the more energy you're going to have to put in to do that. You can act like an ESTP for a short amount of time, but if you do that, it's going to come at a price. So recognize the price as need for alone time. If you try to fit to accommodate other people and if you try to compromise too much, your energy is going to quickly dissipate and you're going to find yourself completely crashed and burned out. This is what I learned in politics and this is something that hit me really <laughs> difficultly. So it got me realizing that there is a self and there is an inner version of myself. There is a true soul inside of myself and I have to learn to represent that authentically. And the persona that I put on should only serve that identity and those goals. So the INFJ has a million masks they can pull out of and can easily transform and shape shift to fit these different masks. But ultimately, try to be yourself as much as possible and try to find ways to reach your goals by being and honoring who you are. It's going to pay off in the long run and it's going to help you reach people more authentically and more honestly. Thank you so much for watching and let me know your comments and thoughts in the comments down below.